Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today we are hanging out because it is officially cozy season. It's like really cold and nice. It's not too cold yet, so I'm pleased about that, but it is getting a little bit cold. And so I'm gonna be doing some activities indoors today. I've gotten to the point where I try to avoid going outside at all costs because it is simply too cold and I don't enjoy that. But today is Friday, so I have a online class. And so that is all going good. And I finished my homework really far in advance because if you guys saw in the vlog, I have completed all of my work for the ceramics class that I'm in for the rest of the studio. So I'm very excited. Ugh. These are the tiles that I picked up and did. So I made all of these glazes custom and I mixed them all by hand and they all look different because they're all different recipes. So each of these tiles is a different glaze recipe that I had to make. And so you basically like mix them up with water. Like it's just a bunch of powder. You mix it with water, you dip these tiles in, they do weird stuff like that. And then you get them out. So I need to organize these the way that they are on my assignment. I need to take a picture and I need to make a PowerPoint really quick. This is gonna be like a day in the life, I guess. But I'm gonna be making some bunnies later. I'm very excited about that because I'm working on a dollhouse project. Sorry, I'm just like taking a... One. I'm just taking like a, a good look at these because I haven't really gotten a chance to look at them yet. I've been so busy because it's final season. So the videos are also like a little bit sporadic, but let me show you my dollhouse project. This is actually a secret because this is coming out in a later video, but I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a spoiler real quick because it's <gasps> so cute. Oh my God. Okay. So that's all you guys get to see, but this is what I've been working on uh, in the back. And this is not even like a final project. It is just something I haven't really gotten the chance to finish, but we're gonna go and photograph these tiles. Look how pretty this color is. This was a project on colorants, so all of the tiles have like different colors. And I'm gonna lay these out on my floor like I do. I do this every week and take a picture of it and then put it on PowerPoint. So we're gonna do that. There's literally so many of these. And like I said, there's a vlog on this. So if you guys wanna go watch it, I will link it for you guys. But look at this one, that one's like matte. Also, fit check for today. I'm sitting down right now, but I have this cute little like plaid skirt on. I have a little plaid here. Cause it's just cozy. It's officially cozy time. So it's important to stay warm. But yeah, welcome to my floor. Uh, I don't sit on the floor often, but since we're gonna lay out these tiles, I kind of have to sit on the floor sometimes, but I'm gonna pull up my assignment to find what exactly is the configuration I need to put this up in. But it's currently 11.30, my class is at one. So that's enough time to get all of this done. I mean, the PowerPoint literally takes me like 15 minutes. So it's actually not that serious, but I just need to find the assignment. So we're gonna go to RISD. Also, I've been playing like a dangerous amount of Animal Crossing lately, which has been really distracting me from work. So uh, hopefully I don't do that again today, but I wanna show you guys my Switch case because I got a new one recently. I almost tripped over my own shoe. So um, I've had this case for a while. This is from China, but I just got these and it comes with like a whole back case too, but I really like my Switch being blue. So I didn't want to like change it, but they have these little Sakura stickers or like little patterns on them. And this is from Amazon and it's so cute. So this is what my Switch looks like now. Oh, you can see yourself. Yeah, it's really aesthetic, I think. I haven't had anything changed on my Switch in a while. I got like these little heart D-pad buttons last year, I think. Literally like a year ago, I think. But yeah, so there it is. Also, this is a pink screen protector from Amazon as well. And everything's from Amazon, honestly. So yeah, but let me find this assignment. Blaze Lab 5A. I could have done this like a while ago, like taking the picture, but of, but of course I just didn't bother doing it. So now I have to do it really quick. Yep. Is it the PDF one? I was like, where did my bag of glazes go? So I'm gonna lay all these out now. I'm gonna dump all these out. We're just gonna do this part first because probably the easiest part to 14, 12, 15, one. So there's two of each of them because one is oxidation and one is reduction. And this is just what I do on Friday mornings. I sit here and I mess up tiles and I listen to the wind outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind, but it's just really loud. Wow, 13. I actually have more tiles I can go pick up later today if I want to. I don't know if I'll get to it, but we will see. 
So now I have them all laid out on my floor like this. And I also have these two really weird puffy ones, which I don't know why or how or if they're supposed to do this. This one's like falling off clearly. Yeah, that's uh, what we're working with. So some of the gaps are gonna be filled by this, but I'm gonna try to organize these better now. Laptop guy. Hmm. I just have to organize them in the configuration that they're in. Okay, bro, what? So I just laid all these out, right? See, they have like pairs like this because this is like one colorant and this is a little bit more of that colorant. So if I flip these over, you can see it's just like a little bit stronger of a variation. But like I'm going down the row, where's 13? Um, the other one of 13, I don't know. And where's seven? I, I, I don't know. So it might still be in the ceramics room. I got these like a week ago. So I guess I'll go and see if they're there and hope they have seven and 13. I don't, I literally don't understand where they went but that's okay because the ceramics room is literally like five minutes away so i guess i'll just walk there real quick just don't want to go outside because it's so cold but i guess i have no choice so also i'll probably have to change my fit because this is only warm on the inside and then when i'm outside it's definitely way too cold so let's run over to ceramics room i have my bag i literally don't know where these tiles could have gone but this happens sometimes oh wait are they right here oh my god never mind they're just at my desk because i'm stupid um okay well that's a pleasant surprise let's go let's go put these where they're supposed to be <laughs> do, 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 do. okay everything's where it's supposed to be now i'm pleased so now we can just like flip these guys over wow oh i need to make sure the oxidation and the reduction are next to each other so this one should be like this Yes, so I have to go through, and as you can see, like I wrote them in the corner, just sorting these a little bit better. That one's so pretty. Oh my God, I love that one. They don't look the best, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, I just took my picture so I can get off the floor now, but I'm going to upload it onto my computer, make a little PowerPoint real quick. This week's was actually really self-explanatory, so there's not much for me to do other than to literally put it on a PowerPoint and like post it, so. Yeah, Ugh, climbing back into my chair. Do -do -do Time to upload everything and put on my computer. Also, uh, real life humbling updates. This is what my desk currently looks like. Really need to clean it, but I'm in between two big projects right now. So it's really hard for me to keep my desk clean. So honestly, I don't really have any space to put my laptop, but we're trying our best out here, you know, doing what we can. I've cleared off barely enough space for my laptop, but it'll do for now. Waiting for my PowerPoint to open so I can just stick in two pictures. All I have is like my picture from before it fired and my picture from after it got fired. This is really just gonna be the most like boring PowerPoint ever. Normally I wouldn't make a PowerPoint during a vlog because I feel like that's a really boring thing to watch, but literally like I'm already halfway done. This is the fastest PowerPoint on earth. Like there we go. That's the entire PowerPoint. I'm done. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and write some of these labels in on my iPad because I feel like they were ugly on the laptop and so this might make it more legible. I feel like that font might be might be too chonky. But yeah, I don't normally do this, but I figured like why not? Because today I have some extra time. So I did these like a while ago. So I've honestly kind of forgotten what exactly it is that these are, but we basically just put like different colorants in some of these. So this one is cobalt. So I'm just writing these in and I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur in the back so that you can actually read it. Cause like also this carpet thing is very irritating. Honestly, that like having an iPad makes my process so much easier. And so I really appreciate it. Oh my God, I've been drawing on the base layer. That's fine. Well, actually that's not fine. Do we do all of this? Love that. Didn't think I'd make such a rookie mistake. New layer, please. We're just gonna go and write all of this again. A lot of these, when I was making them, were a lot brighter as a unfired glaze. So this is very interesting. Dioxide. And then this one is rutile light. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this information once I like finish this class because I don't really do any ceramics. I mean, I would like to, but I don't really have the ability to. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this info, but I'll just have it, I guess. We're just gonna add little bubbles underneath. <laughs> Oh, 
Here we go, now we can read stuff. Adding these bubbles so we can actually read what's underneath, which is always helpful, you know? I'd hope that whatever it is I'm writing, we can read, because that's kind of the point. Speaking of reading, I actually read a book the other day, which is not something I normally do, which sounds really dumb, but I don't normally read because I don't have time to, and when my classes like require me to, I usually just do the audiobook. But I actually read a book the other day. And it was actually very nice and so will i do it again though probably not because i really don't have time but just thought i'd share that experience with you guys and then we'll just do this to add some flair these ones are really strange so we're going to highlight them yellow sparkles because they were strange and i don't know why they did this because they like puffed up, which is really odd. But there we go. Uh, that's my assignment. So I'm going to share this with myself, JPEG, put on my presentation and I'm done. That's literally it. That was my homework for this week. Obviously doing it was a lot more difficult than like doing what I just did. I'm just gonna crop this on my computer. Yay, complete, woohoo. Okay, so now I'm going to go and Get some food. I think my friend is actually downstairs. I'm gonna go and get some food from portfolio. So file, save as, glaze lab 5a, save. And then I'm going to go to my canvas, uh, submit it. So yay, let's reply. Yay, homework done. So let's go and eat now, exciting. I don't know if there will actually be anything I want to eat in portfolio, but I'm gonna go and sit down there anyway, you know, socializing is good for you. And I'm gonna bring my Switch so I can play some Animal Crossing. So I need a mask, but let's go. Woo! I tried to open my window last night and I wasn't strong enough to do it. I moved my whole desk out and I walked behind it and I was like, pushing on the window and I couldn't open it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause every time I use it, I get a headache and I'm like, maybe I should just crack a window, but I physically can't. So I'm like, oh God. I don't do it that often, but I've been doing it the past two days. Okay, back in my room and there's sirens outside. So what's new? I got a muffin. I got two because these muffins are really good. They're like coffee cake muffins and I almost never have them downstairs. And so, very, very tasty. My classes are starting like now. So I'm gonna go to do my online class. I'm gonna clean my desk while I'm in my online class because usually I try to get stuff done during the time. So I'm going to try to get my life together. So it's less embarrassing for this vlog. And I'm gonna log on right now, join my Google Hangout class. <laughs> Just signed in and I'm gonna clean my room and my desk, which is normally what I do during this class now that I think about it. But my hair is getting so long now that it requires me to put my hair up when I do this activity of honestly really anything. So now I can properly clean, hooray. Lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium. Going through the other ones though, and we certainly have some duction samples. Um, and that's manganese. Again, some, something's really odd with the manganese today in reduction. Manganese shouldn't really change in reduction all that much. Uh, the silicon carbide, you have found the puffy glaze. Uh, this is a glaze that we call burnt marshmallow. I call it burnt marshmallow. And it's, it's actually, it's pretty much what you have. It is zinc pink, nepheline cyanide, zinc, kaolin, silica, and chrome. Okay, so one of the first things I'm gonna do, I'm currently in my class, but I'm gonna be working on something else. Um, so I did this book a little bit ago, but I actually messed up. This was kind of like a prototype, but the last two pages I swapped on accident. And so I'm working on this for that dollhouse project that I showed you guys. And luckily I actually printed out two extra sheets at the time in case I messed up. And I didn't actually notice I messed up until way later. So I'm gonna be redoing that today, but I wanted to do it with felt because I'm also sewing some baby bunnies later. So I figured this would be appropriate. So we're going to make the book today and we're also gonna make one of the two little baby bunnies. And that is very exciting because I've never done anything with felt and paper before. So we're gonna see how it goes, I guess. I'm gonna do my method pretty 
similarly to how I did this one though, which is like I took the printer paper, I put on vellum paper, I laminated it, and then I'm going to hot glue it probably onto some felt. We're gonna see how it goes. So welcome to the process. I already laminated both of my sheets of paper, as you guys can see, and they're looking like this. And so I cut everything out, got rid of the scraps, and now we're going to start with like the weirder process, I guess. So I brought out my light box so I can see what's under because I want to get these sticky pieces as close to the edge as possible. As you can see, it creates like this, this sticky border. So I want to get it on the edge so that when I actually put it on, oh, did I run out? I anticipated this, haha. -ha. Um, once I cut it all on the edges, it will just make my life so much easier. So I've done all the corners, now I'm gonna just fill in the middle. And now I have these scrap pieces of vellum that obviously is like a really weird, ugly shape. So I'm gonna just use this and I'm gonna stick them like this. So there's half of it done. I can just tear this. I don't like how this part is all messed up, so I'll use this part. I just need to cut this edge to be straight. I can use this, this square. This one for this square and flip this over. Now we're gonna cut these guys out. So I have my X-Acto knife, I got a new blade on it and then I have my ruler and I'm just gonna cut out these guys, which is pretty easy because if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know this is my process at this point for a lot of different projects. I've done it a couple times. I just have not done the fabric part, which I'm excited to try. This is a bit different than how I did the prototype book, but I feel like this actually makes more sense than the prototype book. Slice, slice, slice. I like to do multiple lighter cuts as opposed to one harsh cut, just because I find that I get more precision that way and also I'm less likely to cut myself, which is scary and dangerous because one time in freshman year, my blade slipped and it was really bad and I had to call the school's health people, doctor people, I don't know what to call them. Oh my God, look how satisfying this is. It's all on one sheet. Ah, but I'm gonna cut this out now. And these are my last four squares. I mean, there's only a total of eight squares, but I feel like half of this footage is just me lining up my ruler to make sure that it's like at the right measurement. So satisfying, look at that, oh my God. The most satisfying sliver of paper on earth with this tiniest pink outline. Three. And this one's just like a, a filler page. Like I didn't plan this book very well, so I didn't really plan out the page layouts the best. So I have filler page, but it's just a little pattern that I made. But here they are. Wow, so pretty when you look at them like this. I should make prints of these. I'm actually working on making these stickers right now. So they'll be in my Etsy shop, which is currently open for pre-order for when I go home. Should I make these into prints? Would you guys buy these if I made these into prints? They're really like pretty in pink. I don't know. If you guys would, I would consider making them. But yeah, so now I'm going to cut out the pieces of felt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like place them like this because the pages will be pretty stiff because it'll be two of these. I'm going to do that and I'm gonna sew the edges too. So it's gonna be really, really nice. Should I leave a border or should I not leave a border? I'm thinking maybe I leave a little soft border, but I'm gonna cut out the fabric now. So let's see, I have very limited amount of this fabric because I got it imported from home basically. Basically need four of them. So I'm going to cut out this fabric in as straight of a line as possible. I'm not actually really sure how I can go about doing that. I'll just use this edge. I do it like this and I leave a border and that's enough for me to sew. This is pretty much good. First of all, this edge isn't even straight. So I have to fix that already. I guess maybe it's straight enough. Because it's like fabric, I can just kind of like pull it like that. So I think maybe it's actually fine. Now I have two of them. Cool. So I'm thinking I sew it first before I glue on the pages just because I don't want to risk like the turning of the pages messing up the paper since it is still paper and I don't want to crease it in any way. So I'm thinking of just sewing a line down like right here and I think that'll be good. I was thinking of doing the edges but I don't think that's as necessary because there's carpeting in my dollhouse and it's the same fabric and it has this raw edge. So I think that'll complement nicely. So I'm just going to do some running stitches down here like that. So I actually haven't sewn in quite a while, but I very much know how to do it, so it's fine. I guess I'll use this thicker needle 
and this is pretty much the same color. This is a little sewing kit that my mom put together for me as a freshman. I've been using it ever since. I didn't think I need to sew that much, but it's just one of those like necessities, you know, that when you do need it, you like really need it. But I don't know how much thread I'll need, so I'll just do that much. I feel like that's good. This is a very, very simple sewing project. My bunnies will be much more complicated, which I'm gonna do after this, which I really don't foresee taking this long. I feel like I'll finish this project in like 15 minutes, especially because I'm about to use hot glue, which as we all know is just super speedy. And we have our little book guy. So I feel like I should pin it, but I won't because I don't think it's that important. So I'm just doing a running stitch, which is like a super easy stitch. I usually prefer a blanket stitch, but I don't actually sew that much anymore. But I used to make little like plushies when I was in middle school, I guess sometimes in high school. So, ah, lovely sounds of Providence as well outside. I think this is gonna be a lot nicer than my prototype. And I think my professor is really gonna like it cause she really likes like tactile things. Just a simple little running stitch. Quite excited when she sees this. And now we begin to sew. Trying to make my running stitches as even as possible. Sewing is so relaxing. It's too bad I don't have an opportunity to do it more often. I also want to embroider again soon. I haven't had a chance to do that in a while either. I'm already halfway there. Woo! Just simply like the easiest stitch on earth. So hopefully it's looking neat and nice. Sometimes when knots form, they just like go away on their- How does this even happen? Sometimes they just go away on their own, but this one is not. Haha, <laughs> get it? Not. <laughs> I knew this was too easy to be true. Sometimes it's like, you know how in school when you do your math and you're like, this is too easy. I must be doing it wrong. That's how I feel about art sometimes when things don't go wrong and I'm just like, this is too easy. Something must be wrong. Bro, why is there a knot? Please explain to me what compelled this to occur. Got the knot resolved, obviously. Now I'm on my last few stitches. Ink, and this is the last one. I will tie it off here. I'm gonna make sure. All right, looks like everything is sewn very well. This is what it looks like, very simple stitches. I try to make them as straight as possible. Hopefully they are. Let me just tie this off. Perfect, now we're gonna cut it. Ta da Hooray, a little book. So I'm gonna heat up my hot glue gun. So old, I don't want it. I don't even wanna look at it. It's so like nasty. While that's heating up, I'm gonna put away my light box because I no longer need it. For oh, it so long. I'm gonna put away my thread. I guess I will technically need it again soon, but just not right now. So I won't put it away away. I'll just put it Got my little postcard looking thing. Don't know why they're all turned. Okay, ah, so cute. So I'm gonna be gluing them on here. I think it's gonna work out fine. I don't really see why it wouldn't work out. Let's put them in order. That works out perfectly. So it goes baby bunny bedtime and then cover page. Oh, baby bunny. This is actually a haiku if you guys didn't know. Hiding inside their new home. Off, sleepy, good night. Okay, so I have all them where they need to be. I guess in the meantime, I can throw away some of that. I also still have a muffin from earlier. This is so good. I have all my materials ready. I think this is pretty much heated up, so we're just gonna try it. Let's try it on the inside page first. So if I mess up, it's not on the like the front cover, because that would be a little bit sad. But we have this one. Uh, I'm not too attached to this sheet, so putting hot glue on the edges like that. I mean, that seems like it worked out perfectly well. Um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna press on the edges. Should I round the corners? That's what children's books do. They round the corners. I guess I could. Interesting revelation. One thing I've learned, do not leave hot glue globs unattended because they will form ugly lumps. Oh, another thing I learned, if you peel it back like this, you can still see it. That means it needs more hot glue. Uh, this is dangerous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, I feel like that was not a good idea by me. Not a good idea. Cause now I can see the hot glue. What if I scrape it away really fast? That kind of saved it, but I'm not gonna do that again. See, this is why it's good that I did it on the inside because if I did it on the outside, I'd be looking at it forever and that would make me sad. <laughs> but it worked out. So let's do 
the outside before I get these pages all mixed up because I am sure I will somehow find a way to make that happen. I have no time to spare. I need to make sure the glue stays super hot. Okay, 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 okay. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to squeeze it to make sure the hot glue like flattens as much as possible. Oh, it's warm. That's so odd. I see hot glue in my hair. <laughs> Very cute so far. I'm liking it. I think I do indeed have to round out the edges. I don't know because these aren't rounded. Um, I guess this can be rounded. That can be rounded. That can be rounded. That can be rounded. Wow, did I plan it perfectly so it can be rounded? Oh, I should do that now then. Oh gosh, that makes it a bit difficult because these are already glued, but I'm gonna try my best to do so. I feel like that will make a big difference because it makes it feel more like children's book like because it's um, round and soft and like it's already fluffy. Other pages will be rounded better, but since I don't really have a choice with these ones, I'm just doing the best that I can. Since I already glued them down, it makes it a lot more difficult. Cool. Oh, I feel like that's so much cuter. Yes, I am very pleased. Okay, I have to go and round all of the other pages right now before I glue them. Because look how much easier it is to do. Wow, my, my wrist is not cramping. Amazing. Phenomenal. I'm also working really hard to make sure that I'm rounding the correct corners. I'm so surprised my designs worked uh, to round all the corners because some of them like could not have the other corner rounded. Or I guess maybe they could. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Let's go ahead and glue all these in before something else happens. Oh, I also need to round all the pages now. You know what? I'll round the pages after I glue them on to give myself more space to make mistakes. So this one says, oh baby bunny. Ooh, so warm. Oh, baby bunny. Squish, 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 squish. This is so interesting, but I'm very pleasantly surprised by how much I am liking it. It's working pretty well. Also, I'm pleased by how I can put this on and then like kind of shimmy it a little bit once it's on. Hiding inside. Oop, look at that. Try something new every day, guys. You never know when you will be pleasantly surprised. Oh no, this one is a little bit too uh, close to the edge. There we go. See how I could just like shimmy that? That's like amazing. And then squish, 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 squish. And it's making a thick book, which is so satisfying. I was thinking of doing something similar with like paperboard, I guess, but I decided against it because it would be a pain in the ass to cut and I didn't feel like doing that. But this is like a very good substitute, I guess, because it's way easier to work with than paperboard. And it just, oh shoot, I'm getting like clumsier and clumsier as this goes on, which is worrisome, but it just works so much better. Easier to cut. I'm not very strong. So cutting paperboard is really hard for me. Less injury prone just because I haven't had any exacto knife related injuries in a while. But, you know, it's always just something I worry about. I like to avoid all incidences of that being an issue. Also, I'm really glad that I sewed it before I did this because it's getting to be thick. And I just know if I didn't sew it before, it would be a lot more difficult to do it now because like, look how thick it got. But it's still very uniform because I sewed it beforehand. So now I'm gonna go and cut these corners. Some of these pages are a little bit but even, so I'm just trimming them. So cute and nice. Oh my God. <gasps> I just realized I can still thread a ribbon through these two ends. Like, cause they they make these little loops. I think I should do a pink and a blue ribbon. I'm gonna try to figure that out. I think that's gonna take me a second cause it seems a little bit difficult. <laughs> oh my God. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. Like, look how cute. I was not expecting to like it this much. Here's the prototype, which is like cute and everything, but I just think this one is so much better and it fits the vibes of the dollhouse much better, which you guys will see in an upcoming video, I swear. I'm just trying to finish everything so I can have it all in one video. A little hot glue string there, but oh my God, amazing. So now we're gonna make one of these little bunny guys because I wanted to make a little plush version of him. So I just think it's so cute. Call me again, drunk in your bed, driving home. Where's my eraser? Okay, I'll fold it in half. 
Okay, so I cut him out, folded him in half, and I cut him out, so he's gonna be fat. Dun dun! Oh, he's perfect! So, there's a little, little pattern. Uh, I'm gonna trace it onto the felt, cut him out. He's so cute! <laughs> I'm doing work right now, but the view is so pretty because the sun is starting to set. The sun sets so early now, which is kind of sad, but it does mean it looks really pretty outside for quite a while. I currently have one of them cut out and I've kind of been freehanding it. I've been like holding the pattern against the fabric and then cutting around it, which is kind of shady, but I don't really have a choice because I don't have any like color pencil light enough for this since it's so pale. And so I've just been doing it like this and it kind of works, I guess. I'm gonna cut out another one. Little baby bunny. I'm so excited. They look like cookies. This is like cookie stuff. And I got this fabric, like I said, imported from home. I had my parents ship me this felt because it's like the nice thick felt that I found. Um, I don't know like where to buy this online, but there's a store near my house that has this and it makes me very, very happy because I finally have some good quality felt. This is what I've been looking for like my entire life, to be honest. Um, I used to make stuff with felt as a kid and it would never turn out well because, well, one, I was a kid, but two, like the fabric just wasn't that good. But now the fabric is good. So I've started making more things out of felt again, just cause it's such an easy material to work with and it's cheap, it's very important. <laughs> out like little cookies. As you can see, I'm just trying to follow the edge. Then we're gonna sew them together. After a lot of scraps, we now have two of them. Woohoo, so cute. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing this. I decided to paint on the felt, which is something I haven't really done before, but I didn't really have like the, what's it called? The thread in this color. So I just decided to do this because honestly it was like way faster. And I tried to embroider it, which is why it looks like this with brown. And I just didn't think it looked really good. I do think embroidery on felt doesn't really work well. So didn't really <laughs> feel like doing that. I just realized I have to go pick something up at the mailroom. If I don't get it today, the mailroom's closed tomorrow, so I have to go right this second. Also, here's the sky right now. So pretty. Oh my god. Ah. Thank you. Oh my god. I was gonna vlog while I was outside, but it was so cold. I think if I took my hands out, I would have died. And it was so windy. Like, I was literally walking the entire time. It's so windy, I have to brush my hair now because it's all like stringy from ow, the ow, the wind, ow. I normally never brush my hair because my hair is naturally very like soft, it doesn't tangle, but the wind really be messing it up for what? Please explain to me why. Like, look at the difference. Uh, what is what is this? What is happening? What is occurring? Very, very tiring. Okay, I think it is all brushed out now. Time to get back to work. Okay, I'm back now. It is officially dark out. I'm going to start sewing him soon, but not yet. I'm waiting for the tail to finish drawing because I messed up and I painted it on the wrong side. So now he has two tails, but that's okay. It's a secret, no one knows. I got my box catch the mail, so I'll probably be putting that on soon, but I'm just gonna take a quick little break. Probably play some Animal Crossing before I proceed. I've been working for quite a while. POV, you're on FaceTime with me. This is literally how I normally look, but I'm finally getting to play a little bit of Animal Crossing, so I am excited. I've been obsessed with the new gyroids that came out. Animal Crossing is a really fun game. For those who don't play, you should definitely get on it. I've been playing since the DS, since Wild World. I need to change the date and time. I've also started playing this game called The Longing, which is like an idol game, and it's really interesting. I have to wait. I don't know how many days I have left. Let me see. This game takes really fast to boot up. You have to wait like a 400 day time limit max to like finish the game, but I don't know where I'm currently at. Also, sometimes I get punished for changing the clock, even though I'm only doing it for Animal Crossing. Okay, luckily I didn't do that today. 395 days left is how many days. And as you can see, that's my little shade. He's like walking. I don't remember what I told him to do, but I'm gonna leave him alone now because I want to play Animal Crossing. But those are the two games I've been playing. Also been playing Doki Doki Literature Club and Turnip Boy Commits Tax tax evasion. Some games I've been just playing recently. I've been really into like my Switch again. Always very pleased to find new games. But yep, that's what I've been doing, waiting for Animal Crossing to boot up. Yeah, I've been obsessed with the gyroids because they're so cute. And I'm so glad they made them cute so I actually like want them. Yep. That's pretty much it. So I just lay here and I play Animal Crossing for probably play for like 30 minutes. Yesterday I started playing and I passed out because I was so tired. I've kind of messed up my sleep schedule lately. I've been waking up early and doing some work and then taking a 
long nap from like 7 to 10 and then staying up late to do more work and it's been really really bad so i need to stop doing that but i'm gonna lay here and play animal crossing for a bit and try my very best not to fall into a sleep coma because it is friday and that means it's time for fun please so yes i don't know what i'm doing with my hair <laughs> so yeah i will update you guys with anything interesting that happens in my game This is my outfit for the day. Oh, just kidding. Of course, there's like the most beautiful outfit I've ever made. Look at the skirt with the barista outfit combo. Like the way the little frills come out at the bottom is so cute. So uh, yes, of course I have to buy this outfit and wear it out. So that's my fit. Okay, so please don't judge this area of my town because it's really not it. This is like my work in progress area for all the things that I'm trying to do. So I have like some veggies here. This is my cute playground like see i can be cute i can make cute builds but i'm gonna dig up these little gyroids that i did a few days ago oh lily's here please be the cute one okay i don't think i have that one this one's not in the row but this is my collection gyroids so far oh are you the frog looking one <gasps> wait you're cute oh my god who are you <gasps> You're cute too! Wait, the two? Oh my god, they're so cute. I love this option now. Oh my god, look at the two new ones. <gasps> Hello, babies! Oh, they're so cute, oh my god. Mm, now I can get to go coffee. I love Brewster's voice. It's so, like, calming. Oh, look at him make his little coffee. This was, like, my favorite part in New Leaf. I'm so glad they brought it back. Yes, give me the coffee. The animations are so cute. They should put boba in this game, bro. You know, these weather changes make me really, really sad. It's like really dark outside right now and it's only 5.30 and it just makes me feel so unproductive. I think that's why my sleep schedule has gotten kind of messed up because I feel like if I go to sleep and I wake back up, then I've reset my myself if that makes sense um which is why my sleep schedule is all messed up but i know it's only november i guess it's almost december actually because after thanksgiving break like it's basically december that's crazy but once it's past like i know it's early but i can't wait for the sun to come back at like a normal person time because it makes me so productive and just like happy and i really i really hate this seasonal sadness stuff as it is not good I do not enjoy it. I like being productive during the daytime. I know I always wake up late anyway. I wake up around like 12 o'clock naturally, which is bad. But like, I like waking up at 12 and the sun going down at like 8. I don't understand. I just hate it so much. Also, right now I'm gonna go on another little adventure with Cap'n. Yes, I'm ready. And I'm gonna turn the volume all the way up because he's gonna sing the most beautiful song, Venmoing him a thousand nook miles. Let's go, bro. I love Kevin. I'm so glad he's back. The only thing I kind of miss is like, I really like city folk, how it was in the city. Um, I'm not a big tropical fan, but I guess that's the whole premise of this entire game. So not much I can do to complain about it. Why do I keep getting horrible islands? Not pleased. I get like one gyroid fragment and that's it. I don't need more wheat, bro. Why do these islands suck? Oh well, that's life, I guess. So I'm currently making my little bunny guy. Not sure how I feel about it, but it's cute, you know? So it'll do for the purposes of being a little plushy guy. Just going around, I'm doing a blanket stitch for this one. It's using up more thread than the other one, which is fine, but taking some time. But after I finish this, I'm pretty much done with the work I wanted to get done today. So I'm probably gonna go out with my friends. Probably go to Thayer, which is just like the street farther up in campus that we always go to. 
to. It's so cold today though, so I'm debating what I want to get up there. Cause we usually get like boba or something. Maybe I'll get a warm drink just cause it's so, it's so cozy getting like a warm drink on a cold day, you know? And warm boba is literally so good. That is the plans for tonight. But this is probably gonna take me only like five, 10 more minutes. I'm just going around the little ear right now. And this part goes by pretty fast just cause it's just some, just some simple stitches. It's just really repetitive. Little bunny. Here he is so far. I'm about to stuff him. And I tried my best to make the stitches even. I feel like since the stitches are so small, they just look really messy. I don't know. It's okay, right? Right? I keep telling myself it's okay. I'm gonna go get some stuffing and we're just gonna make him a little bit round. Not very, because obviously there's not a lot of space. He is quite small. I don't know if this is all gonna fit in there, but we're just gonna do our best. I feel like he looks cuter on camera than he does in person, <laughs> which is good. Maybe a little bit more stuffing actually. Okay, I just grabbed some more. So let's fill him up. There we go. He is all stuffed. Oh, so cute. OMG. Oh, he's so small. I don't think I can get stuffing into the ears, but maybe I should try. Oh my god, I finished him and he's actually really cute. Especially, like, alongside this, because this material is the same. I feel like it just looks so cute. Oh my god. Ah, I love how it came out. Oh my god. So this is this. This is this guy. And they go together and they're so cute together. Mm, I love. So yeah, I'm going to finish up the rest of this project in another video that will be coming out soon, but here's that. So very productive day. I'm very pleased. What am I going to do for the rest of the day? I don't really know yet. It's like six o'clock, so I'm sure there's much more I could be doing. So I pretty much finished everything. So we went up to Brown University real quick to try to get laser cut trained, but unfortunately there was like no one here at all. So that didn't end up happening. Are we going to be able to get trained today? Dang, trying to get laser cut certified failure. You know what, at least we're on Thayer. It could be worse. So as a consolation prize for hiking up all the way to Thayer, we got some VVs and I've been getting the hot boba there and it's really, really good. I've been getting the tiramisu one, but it's not really sweet. So I don't know if it's just this location or what, but yeah. And I am back in my room hitting my lamp. I did a lot of work today, I guess. My laptop is like running right now. So sorry if you hear it. It is transcoding some footage because it's literally Friday, but I'm about to edit this video and get it up on Saturday. So tea, but I think I did a lot today. I got this little bunny, which I don't love, but I don't hate. I just think he's like kind of funny. Uh, I don't think he matches like the vibe of the rest of this project. So I might rework him at some point, but you know, he's doing his best out here. But I think this turned out really, really well. And so it's gonna go great in my little dollhouse when I get it done and I will show you guys that in a video soon to come But yeah, I think this like it's just it's so simple, but it worked so well So I'm very pleased it has a little bow on it Which my professor really liked from my last project because she said like it was just really really cute So I basically kind of did the same thing again, but I will see you guys in the next video along with all the sirens in Providence. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me on this fun little Friday. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go before the sirens take over. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.